Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. Now let's talk about 3D Print Hub. In order to access your 3D Print Hub plugin, just go over to your palettes menu on your right hand bar and then scroll all the way down to 3D Print Hub. Now 3D Print Hub is an easy and fast way to import all of your 3D printing files and also export your Z tools directly into a file that's supported by your 3D printers. Now you can see we have a few options here on the left, which means you, that you have the main options for 3D Print Hub here, and you can import your STL files. You can update your size ratio. So let's say I wanna click this and I wanna set this to millimeters. So I wanna go and say, okay, the current size, which is in inches over here on this top section, it's 3.06. And I wanna tell it maybe this is the right proportion, but it's in millimeters or I wanna convert the current inches into millimeters. And in this case, I'm just gonna convert that. And it basically gives me the ratio of my current model. So in order to change the actual final size of this model, I could just scroll the slider left and right, and it will update all the other coordinates to match that proportion, keeping the ratio of the model intact. Now, in order to check the volume, you can click this button that says check mesh volume and it will give you the cubic millimeters volume of your model. Now, in order to export, you can click any of these settings and you can see we can export as an STL, a 3MF, a VRML, or an OBJ. And to change the settings of each one of these, you can go over here to the left under export options. And under here, you can export all of the subtools, just the visible subtools are selected. You can change that over here. You can keep the subtool name or add an index to your current name so it matches the naming convention that you're working with. And in this section here where it says all formats, you can choose if you want the model to carry over your textures or your poly paint or both or none at all. And specifically for the STL format, you can choose between binary and an ASCII file in order to carry the poly paint you need to check binary and then choose between Magix and Solid View. Now you can store those export settings, so then you don't need to redo all of these settings every time you export another model. Same thing goes for import. You can skip importing the color from your 3D printing model. You can change that weld threshold and then store your import settings. Size options is basically the same expanded options for your sizing over here. So you can keep that uh, original size and you can change or move the axis, the origin of your sizing for all of the tools and the subtools. Now, if you go over here, then you just need to press one of these and you will export into an STL or a 3MF or a VRML or an OBJ and just choose the name, click OK, and you're good to go. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.